Welcome back to the Rustified Educational Video Series. In this installment, we'll be building a knowledge gained from the basics of building video. If you haven't seen it, check the description for a link. The first important building strategy I want to cover is honeycombing. When you honeycomb a base, you add multiple buffer layers on the outside using triangle or square foundations. Honeycombing increases the amount of explosives it takes to raid your base. More walls between you and the bad guys can never be a bad thing. Honeycombing is one of the most common ways a player can protect their loot, but that's not its only use. Sneaky players may also hide loot or tool cupboards inside the honeycombing itself. If you plan to build a base with extensive honeycombing, make sure you choose a large, flat area Otherwise, you may run into possible terrain issues. Another important point to remember is to keep some metal fragments handy to upgrade your honeycomb to sheet metal. This will greatly inconvenience players attempting to pick their way through any exposed soft sides. Though a powerful means to protect your base, honeycombing isn't the only way to do so. Most players also surround their base with high external walls. This cannot be built with building plans, but instead crafted and placed from your hotbar. High external walls are another effective buffer to protect your base, and are the equivalent of a stone wall. The protection comes at a price, however, as high external walls take a significant amount of stone and crafting time. Try queuing up high external walls while gathering or roaming to reduce crafting downtime. You can't completely surround your base with high external walls, of course. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get in. But beware crafting the high external stone gate. They have a high material and component cost and are slow to open and close. A small gatehouse, on the other hand, offers all the benefits of an airlock without compromising your protection. Place a simple airlock where you want your entrance, making sure to build it two walls high. Then place your high external walls alongside the gatehouse, so only the front is exposed. Now that you've spent all that time protecting your loot, you need a good way to store it. The most common way players store their loot are in compartmentalized one by ones like this. Simply wall off three sides of a square foundation. Now place a shelf in the back. Craft four large boxes. Place them up on the shelves. Use the R key to rotate the boxes, placing them two per level, with the ends facing you. Take care when rotating them. Have the keyhole facing the center of the shelf, and place the boxes on the far ends of the shelf to allow for code locks to be placed and be accessible. Hopefully you've learned some techniques to better protect your base and enjoy your time in Rust. In the next video in the Edge series, we'll be covering some even more advanced building strategies. I'm Source Dogma with Rustified Official Servers, and as always, thanks for watching.